I'm a curator, I'm an, I'm an historian, but what I really like best is being a writer. Being paid to write about a subject I love is still a source of wonderment to me. Uh, I'm Ken Gross, I'm an automotive writer and a museum curator, and every August for one wonderful Sunday, I'm a Pebble Beach judge. This is my favorite place to write. This room really does make me happy, even with the clutter, which makes me crazy sometimes. I'm happy to sit here and just be surrounded by, by all these car things that I like and uh, start writing. When I was 13 years old, my neighbor uh, was Bruce Durkee, and he owned an MGTC, and he lived you know, a half a mile from my house, and I was fascinated with this car. Uh, the fact that it was smaller and sportier than any, anything in the neighborhood. And at the same time, I discovered Road and Track magazine and started buying Road and Track. It was 25 cents an issue, and my father said, why are you wasting your entire allowance on on that magazine? And I said, I'm interested in, in cars. I, I want to know more about them. I have that issue of Road and Track, and I have every issue before it and after it, along with every issue of Motor Trend and Car and Driver and Hot Rod and Rod and Custom and all the rest of it. I, have, I literally have thousands of books and magazines, which is a wonderful basis for writing about this because uh, whatever research I need to do, and I can do without walking more than 10 feet. I've written 15 books, and I'm currently working on three more. Uh, and I write a, a, a book which is really a catalog for the museum exhibitions that I do for fine art museums. So that's included in that, uh, uh, in that total. And I, I always wanted to write about cars. The whole notion of writing for a car magazine seemed like this distant goal that I could never do. Around 1986, I quit my day job and just became a full-time uh, auto, auto writer. Um, I take books everywhere. Uh, and I mean, on the, uh, when I go on a trip, the last thing I pack is the, the book du jour, if you will. Sometimes two if I think I'm going to finish, uh, finish one. I'm a voracious reader. I'm luckily married to a lady who likes to read. So we have a little place upstairs with two comfortable chairs. And more often than not, after dinner, we'll both sit and read. My book list is a little different than her book list. She likes fiction and fantasy and police procedurals. And I'm usually reading a car book because I can never catch up. I don't know that there's a parallel between, let's say, Fords and Ferraris. There probably really isn't, but my interests span that, uh, that range. are concerned, I'm really interested in the history of it all. I'm fascinated with the fact that, particularly in the post-war era, you had these guys coming back from their time in the service with mechanical skills. Uh, it was difficult to buy new cars because everything was in short supply. So uh, using the skills that they had and the interest they had and this kind of need for speed, this, this wish to uh, duplicate perhaps some of the excitement that they had on the service, uh, and particularly in the LA area, they, uh, they bought old cars and they stripped them down and fixed them up and improved them. Either they customized them to make them look better or they, um, they minimalized them to, uh, and, and hopped up engines to make them go faster. I'm pretty ecumenical. I mean, I, uh, hot rods are, are something I'm interested in, but hot rods aren't a major focus of, uh, of Pebble. But, uh, but we do them every other, other year, every third year. Um, race cars are something I, I find interesting, open wheel cars. Um, I've done special classes over the years like uh, Fossil Vega and Pegaso, most recently Tatra. Jay Leno, who's uh, a friend and obviously one of the top collectors, Jay gets interested in cars, he says, because he'll read about something or he'll see one and then he'll study it and he'll uh, he'll think, well, I ought to buy one of those. And he luckily has the means. I 
my way of doing it is to buy all the books on the subject. And maybe if, uh, if it seems interesting and relevant enough, suggest we do a class of them at, uh, at Pebble Beach. I mean, there's several ways of looking at, at judging. One is that we are kind of stewards of, of history. We're trying to encourage people to accurately and correctly restore cars. So for that moment in time on the lawn, uh, you've got the car as close to the way it was done uh, originally as possible. And that's really what we're trying to judge, not over restoration. We're, we're hoping to, to say in this moment of history, here's this car and you know, take a look at it and wonder about it and, and experience it. As far as I'm concerned, it's a privilege and an honor to help with Pebble Beach. I consider it the best uh, event of its type in the automotive world. The thrill of all this has never subsided in any way. My wife thinks it's interesting that because I've been involved with cars for decades, and now professionally, you know, that I'm still excited when a, a book comes or, or an article on something. But it, it has never lost its fascination for me, and uh, I'm glad that's the way. I don't need to take up another hobby. I've got my hobby for life. Mm -hmm.